Right, okay, welcome back to my video. This is part two of a little mini series which I'm doing, highlighting, documenting our holiday to Cyprus in April 2022. Today we're going to jump in the high car and we're going to drive up to the Trudos Mountains, taking in some of the lovely places there and some of the more traditional villages. Yeah, I had a problem with that as well. Do you, do you want it open? Uh, not really, no. Um. Right, if we head to Omidos. Omidos, yeah. Uh -huh. Right, so next stop is going to be a place called Omidos, which I think is about an hour and a bit drive from where we are here. Yeah, it says one hour, so 67 kilometres. Where can I put that one? Well, stay up there, do you reckon? Because they don't give you any kind of a a thing, do they, to um, a holder? Head north, then turn right. Right, let's go. Let's go. Nice little Cypriot village, this one. I think it's very traditional, Omidos. Um, it has got a monastery in it, so I think we're going to uh, have a bit of explore around um, some of the shops and uh, around the monastery. Right, so before we go into the uh, monastery just behind us over there, uh, we're stopping off for a, a quick coffee, a quick latte. Um, we were here a few years ago, that's fantastic, thank you very much. Very oh wow, we've got a nice lemon cake there with some ice cream on it. <laughs> and the yes. latte. Also. And the latte, that's fantastic, thank you. Enjoy it, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. So uh, yeah, we're just stopping off now. It's about half eleven, quarter to twelve, so kind of lunch in a way. <laughs> the Monastery of the Holy Cross uh, in Omidus. Um, Uh, there's a load of churches, lots of churches, old ancient ones, really uh, goes right the way back to Paul the Apostle and Barnabas. Uh, they visited um, Paphos in AD 45. Paphos at the time was the old capital. They obviously, uh, Barnabas and Paul, they left uh, a massive legacy across the island so it's predominantly it is a, a a christian island although saying that the northern part is muslim because that's uh, where the turks uh invaded in 1974 I remember to squat down now before i bang my head so this is omidos from the air uh looking down on it you can see that this is um a mixture of residential and business and the businesses tends to be in the in the high street it's just basically one street and um kind of stuff going off of that that's the monastery down below I was in there earlier we're looking back at the the main street where there's a, a variety of cafes and restaurants uh that's me on the left hand side just gonna fly it up the street i did ask permission from the what looked like the town mayor and a policeman and he sort of gave me the nod when i showed him what i had uh, so th if you're watching town mayor thank you for that yeah very typical this you can see the the white masonry and the, the red roofs um, yeah obviously the white is going to reflect the heat and um, I think a lot of it is sourced from local surrounded in some lovely countryside here uh, wine growing area apparently it gets a uh, good sun and also surprisingly a good amount of rainfall uh, which is what you need if you want to have good wine. Ah, we bought some as well. We're going to we're going to head on out now. We're going to go up the mountain. Uh, we've got a couple of stops. Um, so we're going to stop off at um, Trudos Square. That'd be interesting to see if that's changed any at all. Uh, spend a bit of time there. Then we're going to 
go to a viewpoint I think it's called Northwest Viewpoint and that's just before Cypress Ski Club okay uh, we just uh, stopped off at this uh, there's a bit of a viewing platform there <sighs> I don't remember this bit. This is the this is the Trudos Mountains, all right. Let's get my wife in the shop. <laughs> there we go. Ta da! Why can't you be a bit taller? <laughs> I was supposed to marry a, a six foot blonde, a, a Swedish blonde. I ended up with you. <laughs> I'm going to regret that later, aren't I? Oh, I'm regretting it now. <sighs> my pose for the day. Beautiful, absolutely just stunning. feet now I think and still climbing we're still going up landscape has changed quite a bit it's become very rugged very lunar like yeah lots of snow so uh, temperature wise I think it's probably somewhere maybe In four hundred meters oh. at the roundabout take the first exit maybe four or five uh, degrees Visitor centre. Oh, okay. Visitor centre. Okay, yeah. Well, there's a lot more snow here now. Look, look at it. Oh, yeah. It's just suddenly changed. Yeah, so. Did, didn't it? Suddenly yeah, just yeah. suddenly, uh, just suddenly changed, didn't it? We a snow melt going on here. Look. So I think the waterfalls this time of year would be very good, actually. Ah, yeah, this right. Is it. This is where we want to be. Is it. This is uh, Trudeau Square, I think they call it. Um. So we're going to park up somewhere in here, perhaps, and uh, in 200 meters, recognise that shop there. So we've been in there, haven't we? Right, here we go. We'll park up. We're going to go and have a little wander around. I think I might even fly my drone as well, whilst the wife, whilst the wife goes shopping with your money. Yeah. <laughs> Do I need right, to be sleep. that much colder? You I open the door to... and find out. Yeah. Yeah, it's check you can feel it, can't you? Yeah, it's a lot colder up here, a lot cooler, let's say. I'm gonna throw some snowballs at me. Oh, that was close. Oh. <laughs> well, that's the, that's the idea, isn't it, to hit you? So I'm on a bit of a running repair at the moment. Um, looks like uh, something's come away from the body, so I just want to put some glue in there. Not too much because I don't want it to uh, damage any of the electronics inside. And I'm just going to hold it there just for uh, a few seconds and hopefully that will fix it for me so I can get out and do some, uh, do some flying because we're way up in the Trudos at the moment, Trudos Mountains and um, it'd be such a nice uh, place to go and fly my little drone and just put it back in there like that and then you've got some little screws with your little screwdriver the idea is is to screw it back in there oh, this is fiddly, it's so small, it's really really fiddly to do 
So uh, this might take me a minute or two to uh, to do this. Right, running repair over and done with. Now it's time for a test flight, and it didn't let me down. Uh, just such an amazing, amazing little machine. This the quality of the footage is is brilliant. Anyway, this is Trudor Square. Uh, we're almost to the top of the mountain. Still, there's snow on the ground here. We're getting up high. We've got a little bit more to go, about another thousand feet or so up to the ski centre. Um, but you can see the surroundings here is is really really nice. There's lots of walks and trails around here uh, for those people who want to go for a little bit of a walk. Anyway, test flight over and done with, and uh, yep, safe and sound. Right, so we arrived. This is our food. Cheese, apparently. That's, uh, that's feta cheese in there. Two cups of tea, and uh, we got a lovely view as well. Didn't I? Just as I turned the camera off, I managed to spill all over the. It's it's soaked with tea now. I guess that'd be my one, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, it'd be certainly be different. That's for sure. I just spilt my tea sour over my pie. So that's yours, and that's my cup of tea, or some of it anyway. And that's completely soaked with with tea, so... <laughs> Never mind. It's a bit soggy on the bottom, but the top stay quite quite, crisp, quite crispy, actually. Ask them just to top your tea up. Oh, your wallet's come out. That'll be fine. There we go. Oh. Oh. It's all going wrong now. Lost a load of money down the flipping slats. Oh no. Oh yeah. Okay, right up in the Trudos Mountains. Here's a fly around. Right, okay, so we've got to the top of the mountain. Uh, Mount Trudos, I think uh, they call this Mount, I think it's Olympus or something. Anyway, so it's around about six and a half thousand feet, six thousand three hundred feet, something like that. Uh, this is a ski centre, this is what welcomes you. Uh, people still skiing uh, in early April. Uh, I'm not exactly sure when the ski season starts, but it's, um, it's quite a long one. It's quite incredible really, because up here it's, it's not cold. I mean, it was like, you could wear shorts and t-shirt and still kind of get away with it, but still the snow is on the ground and, you know, so you're up here skiing, and then down on the beach you're out there sweating and, and getting burnt by the sun sunbathing but this is just wonderful um, I had to get permission to fly around here from um, the, the guy who kind of runs this place uh, because not half a mile away just on the right hand side you might be able to see it in the distance I think there's some kind of a listening post uh, over there so I, I needed to uh, be wary of that um, there was some software which I had to kind of um, bypass in a loose sense so I could actually take off within the app on on the uh, on the DJI fly app uh, and anyway so yeah very successful lovely uh, little flight here um, snow on the ground um, uh, nice trees nice scenery blue sky uh, just a really nice place to be right I've got half a lemonade and oh, two beers, all right. So, what you can do, you can kind of mix one in. Yeah. All right, like that. And that's your, that's your shandy, and that's my beer. There we go. Hello, sir. Hello. Can I have two samosas? Yeah. Two spring roll. Yeah. And chicken salad kebab. Good, eh? <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> 